Hey baby girls, I've got my mum in the studio today and we're going to be doing her a lash lift. So I'm going to begin with cleansing the lashes using some micellar water just to make sure she's got no oils or makeup on her lashes. Then I'm going to use these little under eye patches. I get these off eBay, they are so nice. They're like gel patches so they're like really nice and soothing on the under eye. If you have any ladies with heavy eyelids, just use a little bit of micro tape and tape their eyelids up. It'll make the lash lift so much easier. Once the bottom of the eyelashes are all stuck down, we're going to begin to glue the shield. So we put plenty of glue on the back of the shield and then we can place this as close to the lash line as we can get and then hold in place until you feel like it's fully secured. Once that's in place and you're happy to go, we're then going to apply a little bit of glue on the shield and then we're going to drag those lashes right up onto the shield using my little lash brush which by the way I am absolutely obsessed with. It took me quite a while to get used to this brush actually because when I first started using it I didn't like it but now I've got the technique of using it I absolutely love it. So yeah let's just drag those lashes as tight up to that shield as we can get them. For the inner lashes I'm going to go in with my toothpick because the other lash brush is way too big to get those inner corners lifted so I'm just going to use that to fan them up and lift them up. So I've noticed I've actually caught one of the bottom lashes up into the top lashes. So I'm just going to gently unhook it using my toothpick. I'm going to open up step one of the Lash Lift products and I'm going to apply this to the back of my glove. I like to work from the back of my glove when I'm doing this just because it's easy to go back and forth. And I apply the product using a micro applicator and I always start from the outer corner of the lashes towards the inner corner of the lashes. So I'm gonna set my stopwatch for seven minutes for my mum's lashes. And while that's developing, I'm gonna apply a little bit of cling film over the lashes. So this is really useful actually. Sometimes when you do a lash lift, you have like really small lashes that don't quite sit up. So using the cling film, you can kind of just manipulate those lashes to sit up using that film. And also it obviously holds in the heat and makes the process work a bit better. So I'm going to go in with a damp cotton bud to remove the product. And in my other hand, I have a cotton pad where I remove the excess product. So when I go back in, I never have product on the cotton bud. So we're halfway through the lash lift treatment now and I'm going to apply step two in the exact same way as step one, working from the outer corners into the inner corners. This time we don't leave the product on for as long, we only leave it on for five minutes. Remember when you're applying these products, you want to keep it as low to the lash line as you can get it. You don't want to go too high up the lashes because remember the tip of the lashes is a lot finer than the root of the lashes because then you'll be at risk of over-processing them. So I'm going to set my stopwatch for five minutes and while the clock's ticking, I'm going to apply some fresh film over the lashes. So my time's up, so let's whip those cotton buds out and remove the product in the same way as the last step. So I like to work from the inner corners this time as the inner corners are a lot thinner. So I don't like leaving this product on this inner corner for too long. So I'm going to remove my gel pads from under the eye and I'm going to apply these on the back of my glove because I'm going to use these later on. And now we're going to remove the lashes from the shield. So using a cotton bud, I'm going to dip it in some water and I'm going to gently dissolve the glue from the lashes so just rubbing back and forth on the lash line just to dissolve all that glue and let those lashes pop off some clients actually find having a lash lift really uncomfortable so this step is actually really satisfying for those clients because it just feels amazing when these shields come off the eyelids Now it's time to remove the micropore tape. Remember to use a cotton bud with some water on so you don't actually rip it off the skin and then pull out unnecessary eyebrow hairs because we all need as much eyebrow hairs as possible. 
I'm now gonna apply the pads underneath the lashes because it's time to tint and we obviously want to tint the bottoms and the tops of the lashes. So I'm gonna to mix together my tin. I'm actually using a blue black tin. I find this goes actually a little bit darker than just black tin, especially on like people who already have dark lashes. It just gives them that extra hint of depth. So people actually think tinting the bottoms of the lashes, you actually need to open up the eyes and apply it individually to the bottoms of the lashes. You don't. As long as you've placed your pad underneath the lash line, all you need to do is apply the tint to the tops of the lashes and what that will do is it'll penetrate through to the bottoms of the lashes and it'll tint both at the same time. After five minutes, I'm going to remove the eye pads and I'm actually going to flush the eyes out using lukewarm water. So a lot of people always ask me why I use water when I'm doing a lash lift. I mean, how the hell are you going to remove the tin using anything else but water? You've got to use water at this stage and it doesn't affect the lashes. They obviously fluff up as soon as obviously they dry. So I just tip the head to the side and I let the water just flush all the tin off the lashes and then I give it a quick wipe to dry the lashes. So I just like to finish using some nourishing lotion. This just reconditions the lashes. I don't like to show my clients their lashes in the mirror till at least about five minutes after their treatment because within that five minutes they fluff up so much more when they're drying and you get like the true effect of how amazing the lash lift looks. For some reason I actually forgot to take a before picture which is so annoying but I actually don't even think you need a before picture because you can see how effective the lashes have actually lifted. They look phenomenal so they are literally stuck up in the air and they actually look like little fake lashes. Thank you for watching this lash lift tutorial on my mum. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.